Hello everyone, good to see you again. In this session, we want to talk about datum target. As we know, after making component, we need to do measurement. We need to control the component. In this situation, we need to fix the component. As we have learned so far, we can implement three reference planes to eliminate all six degree of freedoms and fix the component. In the reality, whenever we are going to fix a component, we need to use some tools, the same as fixtures, jigs, and so on. Let's consider I'm going to use the jig to fix a component. If I'm going to define a reference plane, it will be a large surface to do the machining to have a flat surface. It is a little bit time consuming and expensive. In this situation, we are going to have some target area to do machining just for those small areas. In this situation, we are going to save money and time. That is the main concept of the datum target. And also, in case if the surface is irregular, Based on the way of a uh, way of fabrication, we may use forging, sand casting, or weldment, and so on. Maybe the surface is not regular; it is irregular. It is difficult to define a reference plane for that irregular surface. In this situation, again, we need to use this datum target concept. As a designer, sometimes we need to give some instructions to someone to highlight where the contact points might be in a jig. Again, in this scenario, we need to use this concept. The basic of data target is based on three plane datum reference frame. Three, two, one principle. Let's see the symbol of this datum target. We can see it is a circle divided in two parts. In this shape, we can see the size of contact area is going to write at the top of this line. And at the bottom, we can see it is related to this datum plane A, for example, and the number beside this letter is going to represent target number. We have another symbol here. We call it movable datum target. It is useful for the irregular surfaces. It is difficult to specify a certain point on irregular surfaces. In that situation, we need to use movable datum target. As you can see in the left hand side, we may need to use datum target point. We are going to show it by cross here. Or datum target line, we are going to show it in this way. Dash line, you can see here somehow here. And we may use this area. It is hash phantom area. Here, for in this example, it is, for example, a circle. Here we have B2 inside the circle. In this symbol, we cannot see any area size. Here, in the second example, it is related to datum plane B and target number 2. And it is a circle with diameter of 12, it can be written outside or inside of the circle. It is contact area should be circle with diameter of 8. If the contact area is a square, we need to use this symbol here, as we can see here. If the contact area is rectangular, we can write the dimension in this way. Here it is 10 by 25, it can be outside or inside of the circle. If you are going to use movable datum target, we can see here it is related to datum plane A and 
target number one. If the contact area is spherical, we are going to use S here. We need to have this S here beside this size. We have a spherical target area here. It is movable. And here, let's see the first example. We have a part, as we can see here, top left. We have datum plane X here. And top left, we can see this figure. We have these three symbols here. It's going to refer to the points. We have datum target points here. It means the pin should be in contact through a point to the part. Part is going to sit over these pins when they have the spherical head. They are in contact through a line, and through a point, sorry. We have a spherical shape here, and here it's going to represent datum target points here. Second example, in second example here, we can see the, the contact area is a circle with a diameter of 12. We have x1, x2, x3. We have datum target area here. And the pin will be in contact directly to the part because the, we have a contact area. We have hash phantom area here. Let me highlight it here. Whenever we are going to show the position of the datum target feature, we need to use basic dimensioning. The dimension should be inside the box. As we can see here, top left and the bottom, the dimension of that to highlight the position of the datum target feature, it is inside the box. Let's see the second example. We have this cross here. It's going to highlight by Y1. We can see Y1 is going to represent the datum target line here. It means through a line, the pin and part will be in contact, as we can see in this figure. In this example at the bottom, we can see datum plane A here, datum plane A here, datum plane B here, datum plane C here. We have datum target area A1, A2, A3 here. We can see the diameter of this circle should be 10, 10, 10 for all of them. And we can see datum target line here, B1, is going to represent datum target line B1 and B2. And we have datum target point C1 here. Let's see the next example here. We have this component. We have the plane A here, the plane B here, the plane C here, and we have the target point here. It means the pin has a spherical shape and point will be the contact, let's say, feature between pin and part, as we can see here. And at the bottom of this slide, we can see the same component, but we have different reference plane, let's say D, and reference plane E, and reference plane F here. We have F1 here as a datum target line. We can see here in another view. It means we'll pin will be in contact through a line to the part. We can see here. And for last example for today, regarding this datum target, we are going to have datum plane A here. A is A1 here. We can see datum target area, this hash phantom area. We have the size of that here. It is this box here. We have B1 here, B2 here. In another view, we can see B1 and B2. It is going to represent datum target line. We have these two pins here, let's say B1 and B2 here, B1 here, and comes to B2 here. And we have this C1 here, 
In this view, we can see this cross. In another view, we can see this line. And in this situation, we need to have this pin here. It is C1 here. For now, I would like to close this, this session regarding to datum target. In coming session, I'm going to talk about the flatness. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoy it. Have a nice day.